I'm Thierry Marceau, I'm an artist from Montreal, uh, working basically in doing some photo and video installation, but most of the time performance. Yeah, over the years I've performed as many different characters and it goes from like, uh, like a Michael Jackson to Andy Warhol to Matthew Barney to Elton John, Pamela Anderson, um, Marina Abramovic. So going from one character to the other and bringing some new action, some unexpected uh, way to look at them. Live performance, it's an important part, but I'm working then on the image and bringing it back to the art world. They have nice costume too. When Wayne Berwald, the curator, invited me in 2010 to work on a project in Alberta, I needed to think of where I will be, like what, what's the context and who I will bring, like which character. And because I'm from Quebec, you know, there's always this fight between French and English and I, I needed to have like a really strong Canadian icon, like who's like, yeah, the great one. <laughs> I needed to find a great one and just thinking of it, Gretzky came right away because he's the great one. We bring back like this big Canadian icon to Alberta with the Hoilers jersey and like all of the, the Hoil issues and pipelines and everything. So it really means something else 30 years later. I started to dig deeper and find that like collecting things on Gretzky is more interesting with all the side story on all what he did not so great and when you google Gretzky uh, you see like the image like a sea of image pretty weird ones like there's one he's naked covered with foam and that was at one point, like, gave me the idea of bringing the bachelor party that we never saw. After the exhibition in 2017 at the Canada Art Council in Ottawa, uh, the curator tried to find a way to put all the pieces together of the project. We had the opportunity with Nuit Blanche of Edmonton to create like a large-scale performance presentation. So doing it right on the ground where Gretzky was so famous and bring him back to the Edmonton community, that was the best way to end the project. And of course, shooting the image of the wedding directly at the St. Joseph Basilica 30 years later. In the 80s, it was considered like the Canadian prince, you know, we had the, the Lady Di and Prince Charles wedding and it was exactly the same scale here in Edmonton and it, it was like really important for Edmonton but it was Canada wide, it, it represents like what we project as a Canadian, I think worldwide, like good guys helping everybody, always nice and always cool and fine and doing straight stuff. Different important moment for me that built what the great one is so the trade a really important moment for Edmonton like the the day the game changed uh, the press conference the tears and everything and then moving to LA his injury who like broke his back and like almost made the end of the, his career and yeah, the glory and the the rise of his number, and so so basically that that's the the, the parts that I work on. 
the idea is not to laugh about Gretzky, laugh about hockey fans, laugh about Edmonton at all. Like it's just to ask question: Why? Why is it so important? Why is there so many effects on the everyday life of, of people even 30 years later? Why? Why is he meaning so much to many people? I think they still live like something's missing. Even if Gretzky comes back to Edmonton in '88. He broke something and like there's pieces all across the city and like I'm trying to put pieces together but yeah something's broke.